In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a glass material and substance painter. This is a very simple process to learn, and once you've done this, you may want to know how to export it, which I'll be covering in another video. The first thing I did was create a new by selecting the objects I want and set the document resolution to what is ideal for my project. Now that we've got the object and substance painter, we're going to want to bake the textures. This can be done by going to the texture set settings and pressing bake mesh maps. This should open this menu where we're going to untick the ID, then bake selected textures. This shouldn't take too long. Once the textures are baked, we can now move on to making the glass. You want to make sure you are on layers and then select the UV tile that is going to be your glass. In my case, it is this one. Once I've done that, you can search for the glass in this search bar. I want to drag this glass visor into my layer. If you're worried about its current appearance, you shouldn't worry as we're about to change that. The next step is to click this orb looking icon in the top right, where we want to change it from PBR rough metal to PBR metal rough with alpha blending. This will basically impact the opacity later on. I changed the color of the visor to a white color, which can be done by clicking this folder icon and clicking on this bottom material. Now that we have set that up, we need to add an opacity channel, otherwise the glass won't be see-through. This can be added in the texture set settings under channels. This plus icon will give us many different options. The option we are gonna to want to go with is the one that says opacity. Now go back to layers and select the material. Make sure opacity is enabled and change it to what you think is best for the glass that you're making. Point one seemed to do it for me. I like to add a bit of glow to the edges. So I used the material that was already there in the folder and just moved the sliders and customize it a bit to make sure it fit the material better. If you're wanting to add some marks or scratches to the glass, you're gonna to want to add a fill layer, give it a black mask and add a fill. Then select the one that you want in the grayscale part The sliders allow you to change how much marks there are. These textures are now ready to be used. I hope this video was useful and interesting. If you want to see more content like this, please hit that like and subscribe button. My name is Aaron and I'll see you in the next one.